Right, so we're about to go and do uh, the infamous Silver Pinch. Uh, if you're coming from Trumbull Way down past Scotty's Garage and the barn, um, this is where you turn. Is uh, just up here on the on the left, just past the tomato shed here. Now we got on. We got Rod on. He's on. That's good. I think we got Andrew on the back there. So you can see as I go around the corner, yep, we're all on. Magic. So yeah, it's uh, back Flagstone Road. And then you go up uh, Toops Road. Tops Road. T-O-P-P-S Road. Beautiful day. After a bit of a foggy start, it's a glorious day. So just approaching midday, about 20 degrees C. Couldn't ask for a nicer day to go up Silver Pinch. up at the top and then follow me from there when we get up the top we'll meet up again okay. and then I'll take you from there okay. right -o. that works beautiful we'll cut that bit out of the video <laughs> <laughs> just pulled up with Rod, he was after a certain thing. Just beautiful through here, it's all farmland, it's all magic. A nice cruisy ride through today, through Silver Pinch, we've got a couple on the back, so uh, yeah, some people that uh, never done it before, so just drag them through nice and easy. It's beautiful views around here because of the, the big hills and things like that. But uh, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite bits of road. Just great. The views you get as you get to the top here are just spectacular. Coming down the other way is even better. The people that live on this place are so lucky. Got, yes, they're on the side of a hill, but beautiful out here. Little scrub turkey there. Gobble gobble. There's downs, there's corners, there's all sorts in this place.
change that uh, phone up down there. It's just catching a bit of sunlight, I've, I've noticed. Ooh, just a little rock there that I hit. Wait for Rod to catch up before we go hard again. Be waiting for Andrew a bit too. But yeah, it's just beautiful through here. Windy little roads. I've just spotted him. So this is actual Silver Pinch Road itself. There's Rod. And there's Andrew right behind him. Beautiful. Give it some squirt, boys. Get up the hill. Rippy and rippy here. Rod and Andrew for a moment, that's alright, I'll just slow down, enjoy the scenery around through the houses. Let's look at that pile of wood there, God that's been there a long time. Anyway, so yeah, this is the, the pinch itself, so the pinch because it's either side, you, you straight down, it's right on top of the uh, what would have been an, a crater for a uh, volcano. And uh, it's just magic views both directions. I'll put a link down below to the uh, to the road where it goes to and from. So if anybody ever wants to come and um, do Silver Pinch, they can. It's it's magic. Just a beautiful, beautiful motorcycle road. I don't know what to Rod? He's uh, he's way back. Here he comes. car in the right spot. Wouldn't like to have got him on the corner here. Road through the scrub, not much traffic. Good way of testing out what you how you buy candles without going too nuts, get an understanding of it and a feeling. Yeah, really nice. It's a nice bit of pavement too, the road's in really good nick, really good condition. Look at that view, 
what a view. <laughs> what I like riding this thing. Folks, that is Silver Pinch. I'm going to uh, pull over up here and take some happy snaps with my colleagues. But that is brilliant. Okay, buddy. Alright, so we're up here on Silver Pinch. This is a great side. bit of road. Pull up, great viewpoint. See yeah. either side. Just right. great. Alright, so we got to the top, we were going to go and see someone afterwards with Rob, um, but uh, turns out the guy's gone down to, to uh, Grantham at the bottom, so I get to ride Silver Prince up and down today, that is just, that's a, that's a bonus day when you get to go up and down, that's, uh, that's good stuff, so yeah, let's take our time through here. So going down is really different to going up on Silver Pinch. Not just because you're going up a hill or down a hill, but the views and uh, and what you see and and the experience of the ride is uh, is completely different. You, all the corners are, are are so different in the way that you take them. Uh, coming up is yeah very much throttle on because you're uh, coming uphill. Uh, going down you tend to be down through the gears and. Uh, and trying to get yourself to a situation where you you slow down enough to take some of these corners because you it's got the weight of the bike going downwards because of the, the hill going down. It's um, it's a really good road to learn to really ride your bike well because you're constantly steering, you're viewing corners, um, changing gears, understanding how your bike handles in the corner. This. This is one thing I've discovered with the 2020 is that uh, so this one is standard apart from some things in the cockpit and a couple of little lights um, it's everything's standard on it it's it's uh, the sway bar on the 2020 is strong enough that it doesn't wander all over the road like the previous one so I've had a 2015 RT and a 2017 F3 and this one is uh, yeah, it just doesn't wander like those does, so I don't think there's any need to change the sway bar on this one. Oops, we've, we've caught a car. Oop, what are you doing there, mate? Okay. Thanks, matey. So, yeah, as you're dropping, you're constantly on the on the gears coming down and looking for where those corners are. They're not as easy to see when you're going down. A bit of frosty this morning, I think. A bit of water still there. 
probably cold enough for it. It was about five degrees. They probably would have got a bit of frost up here. That view, just magic. third gear at the moment and we're about to be down into second and first in a heck of a hurry because we've got that 20k an hour corner going right and then a really sharp left so we're on the brakes a bit I'd love to be enjoying that view if you went over that edge you'd be in a bit of strife I think how's Rod going yeah he's good oh trying to go down another gear and there's none there Put some brake on, there we go. These contrasting bits of road are really nice. Good thing is you can look further ahead and see the road on this one. You know, do that. 3, 6, 12 thing, scanning 3 seconds, 6 seconds and then 12 seconds so you can see down the bottom of the hill there I'm going to be going to a right and then a big tight left hander and up that hill so you've got plenty of warning where the road's going and having ridden it a few times you sort of go oh yeah I know where that corner is, I know where I've got to be in those corners but we're not flogging it, we're just going down nice and smooth and enjoying the ride Big tight left hander, usually a bit of gravel there, so we'll get right off it. Just pop the ears then, so we've just dropped a few hundred metres. Still there, beautiful. He's going well. Yeah, you could really get yourself out of shape there on those wet patches of stuff, so something to keep an eye out for. So I reckon we're about halfway down now. Yeah, three Ks and then we turn left for uh to go through the back way to get Grantham. Ooh, got a loose gravel there. You know, good on a two-wheeler. Alrighty. Now yeah, we're starting to flatten out a bit and you get into that sort of really long weeping stuff and you give it some. Still got one sharp one down the end there somewhere from memory. What do we got? Oh yeah, a little bit of a sweep. And then down the bottom there, yeah, there's the one. So, yeah, just down the bottom here, down through the gears. And give it some through the you know, little quick little S's and then you're away just drop it up into top gear let it flow through a bit of brake a bit of gear lean it in as you lean into the corner on a spider so that uh, doesn't give you that feeling of wanting to chuck you off 
and then away you go through those ones and through the through the farmland it's just beautiful ride just a beautiful ride almost at the end of it all right a couple more little rippy rippy bits and away we go yeah there we go that's him accelerate to the straights to the end and we'll wait for right at the end Jeez, that was nice i got to go up and down silver pinch in one day that is uh that is good that's a good day when you get to do that